Hi, my name is Steve and you're watching Hall & Ash Outdoors. If you're not yet a subscriber, please consider becoming one. Today's video, I would like to show you how we do a walleye catch, clean, and cook video. But first, we have to go catch a walleye. It's a fish. Nice, nice one, Steve. Yeah, oh, yeah. That's a dandy. So what we have here is a 22 and a half inch walleye my son Steve Jr. caught today. I'm going to show you the way that I learned how to clean fish. It may not necessarily be the way anybody else does, but this is my way and I still do it with a knife. So I start kind of high up here, what I'm going to call the shoulders, and I make a cut behind this gill plate on an angle down to the belly, just like that. And then I run my knife down the backbone where I get behind the ribs. I stick it through and I follow the backbone right down to the tail. Then I will peel it off of the ribs. I apologize for the blood, but this fish is literally caught just hours ago. And I know some people will say you should bleed them out. Yep. If that's your thing, go ahead. Then I will flip it over. And shuck it out of its skin. Just like that. Then you have this line through here called the lateral line and I will cut it, a slice on each side of that. And this is what we call zippering a fish. Nice clean fillet. Nice clean fillet. And this is a bunch of small bones. I'm going to clean the other side of the fish and then we're going to take the cheek meat out and also the wings. After we got both fillets off, then we go for the cheek meat, which is right here. You simply insert the knife and you go in a semicircle. And then I just pull the meat away from the skin. That's called cheap meat. There's one on both sides. While I'm here, I'm gonna show you how I take the wings off. A lot of people say, what the heck is a wing and how is it on a fish? Well, it's this area down here that's called the pectoral fins. And what we do is we just cut it like this, straight through. And that's what we call a walleye wing. You cook it the same way that you would any other 
any other way that you would cook a walleye. So I'm going to take the other side of the cheek off. A lot of people don't take the cheeks off of a walleye and other fish as species too and it's a shame because it is probably the best part of the fish. They're a little bit difficult to get out, but it's well worth your time. There's the other walleye cheek. Walleye fillets are all cleaned. Vacuum sealed, got the cheek meat in one, wings in another. Next time we have a family fish fry, we'll take these out of the freezer and do the cook part of this video. What I use to make my batter, I do a dry batter using flour, cornmeal, black pepper, and a little bit of Louisiana style Cajun seasoning. Now I just mix it all together. Wife says, yup. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I really don't have any exact uh, quantities. I just put it in. I like to see a little bit of yellowing to the uh, mix. Just gives a little bit of a crunch, extra crunch to the filet. And really, that's about it. That's about all I do. Um, I've used beer batters before. I've used other stuff. But... Through the years, we found that we just like it this way. So now that everything's mixed up, we'll be putting the fillets in and giving giving this, uh, it's called a batter pro, uh, giving everything a real good shake up and then put the fillets in, into the hot grease, hot oil. Shake the living daylights out of it. and then pop the top. These are ready to go into the fryer. Okay, I've got everything ready to uh, start the oil. Propane tank, fryer, fire basket, canola oil, and a couple of cold beverages of your choice. 375 degrees, release to the grease. Done to a golden brown, ready to eat. Aiden. Okay. So that's how we do our walleye. That's how we catch them, that's how we clean them, and that's how we deep fry them. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as we enjoyed making it. And until the next time, take care and God bless.